Okay, I'm gonna give up on the vase for a little bit until I get a nice piece of wood. Here I got another piece that's uh, loaded with uh, uh, termite holes going through it. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can make a natural edge, see if I got any live activity going on in here. If I do, uh, I'll be discarding this one as well. But anyway, gonna give it a shot. I can tell you one thing, this wood does not have a pleasant smell. It actually stinks. Don't think I'm gonna be able to keep this one. This void goes uh, quite a bit in, and by the time I get it uh, hollowed up, these two pieces are going to be separated and uh, not going to work. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in there and uh, see what it is. I love the wood pattern and the wood grain. just the outside skin so the bark is still intact love this love this wood pattern that's going through here now one thing that I've done in the past and I've shown it a few times I use a party tool so I can keep my bark I go in there nice and slow the bowl and I'm just starting to cut through here as you can see so I'm just gonna go a little bit deeper than that and make sure I get this line going through here as well to me these are the fastest turning that I can do is uh, bowl uh, natural edge bowls, any type of a bowl, I can usually get them up, get them done fairly quick. Uh, doesn't take nearly as much time as I do making vases or lidded uh, uh, vessels or hollow vessels or anything of that sort. pretty good uh, and it held up uh, so I'm just gonna clear up right about here a little bit just go a little bit deep on this transition hopefully I keep it This is pretty good all the way through I mean you know I got it a little bit thicker than I normally like to keep on uh, on bowls uh, it's about three-eighths of an inch thick uh, generally I like keeping these things a little bit thinner than that but uh, I saw this void and uh, it kind of had me a little worried that I wasn't going to be able to keep it and uh, with the, the way it is and uh, how much of this is going on in here, um, I'm tempted to keep it 
that way. Love the red with the grays going through here, the browns. Um, last piece I had had some real interesting yellows going in here, but uh, this one doesn't have any of that. Uh, but then again, when it dries up, it might take on a little bit different of a character. But I like that. Uh, I think that's a good look for this piece right here. Like I said, these type of turnings, they're rather quick. You know, you can make these up uh, fairly fast if you're not uh, trying to establish uh, uh, things that are uh, a little bit extravagant. Just cleaning up some of these fibers on the outside. I'm gonna sand it up. I'm sending out of the way because I don't trust this piece. That piece might blow out on me. This park area. So I'm going to saturate it a little bit with CA. I want to make sure that it stays. Later on, it doesn't separate on me, even though I got no separations on this. But this hardens up the uh, all the bark area, and it assures you a much better chance of survival of the uh, bark. All this soft stuff that's in these holes, and I'm just using an exacto knife. To get in there and kind of scrape this up. Yeah, the sanding sealer really brings up these colors nicely. anyway this is what it looks like I don't have a great finish on it I didn't spend a lot of time on the inside I was iffy about this but it really uh, turned out to be a rather nice looking natural edge bowl natural edge Brazilian pepper tree well thank you for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up and share the videos and, uh, you know, share it with your friends and, uh, you know, give them a chance to, uh, to see my works. Here it is. Really pretty piece. Nice finish. Well, we will see you very soon. Probably. Probably, uh, most likely, with another pepper tree uh, project. That's Mother Nature at its best. Or so, here yeah, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.